sort of dark chocolate but of course you've got loads of tones in there i like the layering on it this is heavyweight paper so it is really a lightweight cardstock so you could absolutely use it for um for a card in its own right there's loads of like little elements that you could be cutting out on here i love the um the text as well so you can obviously um use it for all sorts whether you're going to be making lovely little scrapbooks with it isn't this pretty? Whether you're going to be um, over stamping on it, it's absolutely stunning. I love all the little flowers that we've got there for you to cut out. Um, and then that one, because they're all like your little postcards, and that one is double-sided. So you're getting two each of those that I've just shown you. That's your 12 by 12. You've then got, and you've got so much in these, in every kit you've got so much. You've then got it, and I won't show you every single page, but you've then got it in the 6 by 6 and again when you look at this absolutely stunning now you are getting with this one you're getting 18 double-sided sheets so you're getting six designs and you actually get three of each there aren't they fabulous really really i love that so pretty i must admit i utterly ran out of time working with this um be well because i've been busy uh, but there's so much i wanted to do it you know when you start looking at it and everything you you keep getting ideas you keep getting inspiration you've then got your um your 20 what's this one 20 by 20 centimeters so it's like an eight by eight isn't it um and you've got 18 double-sided sheets so again everything matches really really beautiful and of course with these double-sided as well so you've got tons of paper absolutely tons of paper all really nice quality you've then got now this is what i've started working on um and what i'm going to do for demo because i really like this and um it's a bit different because this you can make your gorgeous junk journals with. Um, you've got loads and loads of pockets in here. They're double-sided, so when you're cutting these out, um, it doesn't matter if you see the other side of the pocket, which is really important, especially when you've got little envelopes and stuff where you're going to see the tab. So you've got loads of pockets and things. You've got loads of embellishments as well with this, which is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, when you look at this kit, there is so much you can do with it. We've then got the chipboard and embellishments now the chipboard embellishments and um, you've got tons on that as well this is only 29 pounds and 45 pence and that is really really thick chipboard so it makes such a dimensional finish to uh, to your work it's absolutely gorgeous is that two millimeter thick it's proper thick proper thick uh, <laughs> right thick um, then <laughs> let me show you some beautiful finished samples so this is from Jill and that's absolutely gorgeous that Jill has used there. You have got your bingo. Um, you've got your embellishments, of course, all your beautiful papers. She's made the roses from the papers as well, which looks absolutely stunning. Obviously with these, now I think that one is actually over there. Let me see. Oh no, it says plum and chocolate. Mm. I think the, um, I think that the paper might be plum and chocolate, but these aren't definitely. That's the other one for sure. Um, which looks absolutely stunning. A great for your for your um, scrapbooking, obviously. Tons you can do with that. And then let me show you this because this is really pretty. So, and this is very clever. Are you ready for this? Uh, isn't that brilliant? How's she done that? That's a bit good. Look at that for a good fold. I bet I'll never fold that back up. That's absolutely stunning. I wonder, so, I bet that's made out of three of the eight by eights. That's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. What a fantastic fold. Really interesting. And then it just slits back, sits back together really easily. <laughs> ah, she says, putting it down, never to be seen again. <laughs> Only joking. I'll work that out in another day. <laughs> yeah, put it to one side for poor moles. <laughs> Uh, now, 444317 is your item number. Absolutely exquisite and only £29.45. Now, next. So, it's the same thought process, um, same kind of idea, but obviously different palette. And I must admit, see, I started on Plumbing Chocolate because I had so many big ideas that I was going to be able to do all three. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> but this one is actually my favourite favourite, if the truth be known. I really, really like this one. Uh, lovely when you smile. Oh. Oh, this is Webster. 
<laughs> um, and this is just beautiful. So you've got all these gorgeous tags. I love the colour palette. I think that is so, so pretty. But I like the sort of ladies that are sketched on because they do look like they've been sketched over the top. I think they're really, aren't they quite fabulous? It's a little bit different, is that? I think she's marvellous. So you've got those beautiful floors. Look at that for deep and dark and grungy and fab. Um, again, your lovely lady there with the flowing hair. And all of this you could be fussy cutting out of. Remember, you are getting two each of these. Love that. Really. And look, I think she's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, with something like this, because it is heavyweight paper, you could easily be making your cards out of this. So don't think that you're only using it for your, you know, your art journaling, your mixed media. I definitely make your, your beautiful cards out of that. I love that one. I think that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the back of that's gorgeous. I'm glad we're getting, and look at that. I really like that. Loads of little elements for you to cut out. And then, of course, all your gorgeous, like, uh, tags at the back. That one, definitely my favourite, this one. I really, really, really like this one. It's beautiful. Now, what I do love as well is the fact that you get so much paper because sometimes we get a bit mm, about cutting into it. Because you're getting so much, it means you don't get that, you know, you, you, you're happier chopping it up because obviously you've got so much paper to go for. Uh, these are all double-sided still. So you've got, again, this is huge. Look at that. So you have got on that one, um, you have got 18 double-sided sheets there. Um, and again, six different designs. And then your eight by eight as well. They're all double-sided. You've got all those beautiful, beautiful um, colours and the lovely imagery. And again, you've got 18 papers in there. So tons and tons of paper. So you're not going to worry about chopping into this. This is the kind of stuff that you're going to go for. And then, of course, you've got that beautiful sort of art journaling um, little book and I love this because I mean you've got the ideas for the different pockets you know you would be able to to make these maybe trace around them and then use these for your um the bigger papers as well you've got loads of little tags in there really pretty paper isn't it loving the tags absolutely excellent and that one that is just so exquisite and then of course you've got the chipboard and the chipboard will give you that beautiful 3d element um really makes everything pop and you can see all the different details all of these have been die cut so obviously they're all just going to pop out um, and you can see, <laughs> and they absolutely do pop out as soon as you touch them or as a tape down. Uh, so they're very, very well die cut of those. Um, and again, really pretty. Now, let's have a little look at some of the finished samples. Thank you, um, wonderful gang, for supporting us. Isn't that pretty? Really like this. Her hat's gorgeous. It's all gorgeous. And these are the little tags and things that you've got in that book which I really love. Look at that, that's in the little book and that's got the tab. <clears throat> So you could be making these to sell. You could obviously be filling these with photographs, with loads of little memories. Really beautiful. If you're loving all the, the little shapes and things, like this, the, the actual grey board shape, we've got that on the show. So please have a look at that one, because we have got that one. And I think that one is actually over there as well. I think that one is too. I love that. Look at that with the... Hold on. Where is that meant to go? There. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Really beautiful. And see, just for card making, really, really beautiful. And I love that as well. Now, if you'd love to go for this one, £29.45 is your price. Great prices, especially for the amount of stuff that you're getting. I mean, in each paper pad, so what would that work out at? So you've got 18, 18, and what were the other one? 12. So whatever that is, that's how many you're getting. How much would that be? So that would be 30, oh, I've forgotten now. Yeah, one of them's got 12. 48. <laughs> We're rubbish between us all. She's got a calculator. I've got voices in my head. I mean, I'm never going to be able to add up. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's way too early. And what is it? <laughs> I'll move her. 48, so it is 48. 48 sheets of cardstock altogether. I mean, yeah, it will be, won't it? Is it? 
Yeah, it is. Um, so please check your baskets out. I do apologise. I mean, Webster's not helping at all. Not even joining in. <laughs> oh, he's busy. He's busy. He's actually working. <laughs> um, okay. So next, and again, this is beautiful. Very different because they're all a little bit, you know, they've all got different elements to them. This one is really pretty. This one is more, it's lighter. It's got more of um, a, a roses, that really pink, pretty roses aspect to this one. But as it has got all the layering. I do love that. I absolutely love that. Now, people have already been shopping ahead for this one. So if you do want this one, check baskets. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really wanted to be able to get to all three um, to prep, but yeah, it didn't happen. I have got another show at 11 o'clock, so I will feature one of the other collections at 11 o'clock. But oh uh, yeah, they, this is just so romantic. You know, that color palette is just absolutely gorgeous. And then again, you've got all these beautiful, beautiful elements really like that and honestly the quality is wonderful so you've got of course your 12 by 12 you've got that wonderful little art journaling book again and with that double sided and it's giving you your pockets it's giving you all your different elements you have got papers in here as well so you can do so many different folds with this isn't it beautiful Look at that. Look at your gorgeous butterflies. And this is brilliant. Yeah, if you've never done anything like this before, because it is going to, um, it's going to inspire you. It's going to give you ideas of what different folds and layers and things you can do. You've still got in this one, your 18 um, 6 by 6 and then you've got your 8 by 8 as well. I mean, this is just beautiful. Look at it. Oh, I do like this one. You know, I said the other one was my favourite, favourite. I'm not too sure. I might be changing my mind. This is lovely. This is the most popular. This one is in the lead. Yeah, it is very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Look at that. Every time you look at them, it looks... Even though, like, some of them are... Well, they're the same print, but they look different because it's different sizes. Just beautiful. Right, let me show you some finished samples for the gang. Got loads of finished samples for this one. And look at that. See, now, if you're loving this, this is one of the grey board pieces that we've got. And I've actually been playing with this because I just think this is lovely. And see, to make your own lovely little book out of that, how gorgeous is that? You can put all your tags in there. You can decorate this however you want. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, please check out the website for all the grey board elements because they are fabulous. And it just allows you... Oh, I love that. This is one of the grey board. And that's one of those fabulous folds. That's absolutely amazing. I really like that. And this is just exquisite. It's a really bonnet little uh, tag book. How pretty is that? That is so, so pretty. Um, there's so many beautiful finished samples. Look at that one. Again, I love all the little mini books. And these have been made out of the grey board that we have got on the show. That is so pretty. All of these, all of these are the grey board. So please get ahead of us for that. And again, another little book. And they're really easy. Now, when you get the grey board for this, you get the rings. So that's the rings that you get. So you can make your own little album. But obviously, there's different ways of binding your book. So you don't have to bind it with the rings. And there's loads of variations. Like, I love this. This has been made just with the papers. So it's been bound. You've got a book binding there. But look at that. How pretty is that? That is just beautiful. And that's with all the papers, making a pocket out of that. Oh, there's so many really good finished samples. See, these are so inspirational. Now, this is another grey board element. So if you do want to get hold of this, this is another one of those. Um, and this one's got the gorgeous tabs in, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's lots of stencils being used in the background there to give lots of texture. Uh, the papers, of course, really, really pretty. And um, then... Just one more showing you again. Uh, that's an MDF tags there. 
but just lovely. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, £29.45, and pence, that one is in the lead. If you would love to get hold of that, please check your baskets out because it's really, really cool. Um, that is 444317. That's all three options. So many different options. It is difficult to choose because they're all really, really strong. Now, something else that we've got, and these are superb because um, you've got tons here. Now, these do slip out very easily indeed. Um, so just be careful because as soon as you pick it up, it pops out. Look at that. Boop, just like that. Um, and obviously all these little elements, if you give them a poke, they'll come out nice and easily as well. Um, and you've got tons in here. So you are getting all of these fantastic clocks. You do get the hands somewhere as well. You've got different sizes. Um, of the clocks, you are getting two sheets of the cogs and two sheets of the um, the the clocks as well. Clocks and cogs. <laughs> Whew. 7 a.m. and I haven't had my full coffee yet. You're getting tons in this. 1.2 mil thick. Uh, they are cut here in the UK. Precision cut in the UK. All of these little extras you'll keep as well like the little circles and things. And even these for just building up dimension on your projects. Honestly, there's loads you can do with these. These are brilliant for stamping on, you know, so you'll keep the centre of all the, the little cogs and the, the clocks there. Um, I really like these. They're brilliant for dimension. If you wanted a thicker embellishment, obviously stick them together because you are getting loads for your money. For £13.96, you are getting so many embellishments for your money. Now, that is 455-266 is your item number. Now, please check the website out. It is That's Crafted, so we've got loads of stuff. We've got all the different um, embellishments. Um, the Crafty Board journals, they are really, really cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're really, really, really cool. If you craft a boy journal, only eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. That is four two five one four five. If you do want to go for that, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to walk and keep up with you. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. Um, if you want to get hold of those, absolutely marvellous. I mean, there's so many. These are good. These are really thick MDF. So we've got a, a mixture of grey board and MDF. If you do want the MDF, £9.99 pence there. That is all you're paying for your MDF pieces. And obviously, tons you can do with that one. 813-849 um, is your item number now we have got more crafty board for you uh, so this one you have got um, four of your A4 sheets I really like these I have used these as well you've got two options I've been cutting out the wings and things so you've got the wonderful light bulbs you've got the cogs and the what Fantastic. Um, and then you have got the full alphabets on this one as well. Um, you've also got the beautiful window frames. I really like that. As Honestly, we have got so much choice on these shows. Um, do not miss out on any of these fantastic prices. Now, the patina waxes. Where did I put my patina waxes? Um, if you would like the patina waxes, it is a pick and mix um, with your patinas. Please check your baskets out with these. These are absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, we'll be able to show you all the colours this afternoon because we haven't been able to pick them and find them. Um, but if you do want to get hold of those, they're absolutely stunning. I've put mine in a safe place as well. Oh. Um, if there is any questions, email in studio at achanda.com. Okay, so where I'm starting, first of all, is my bases. Now, these um, fantastic little grey boards, I really like these because they're perfect for decorating. These are the ones, so you're getting the, the large um, sheet there, and with that, you do get the D-rings. Now, with these, look how many D-rings you're getting. So, you can essentially make um, two lovely little books out of this. But, as the finished sample showed us, there's so much more you can do out of these. I mean, yeah, you can do two books, but if you wanted to, I mean, you could actually get one, two, three. You could actually make three books and just bind it in a different way and just use these as the covers. So, there's tons and tons of options. Now, I've already crackle glazed these, and I hopefully you'll be able to see that. 
because that is seriously cool. Now, the crackle glaze that you get, what you need to do first of all with this, and what I would do, is paint your surface first. So you can paint with anything. If I go on really, really, really quickly, because you don't want to see me just paint, do you now? So if I go on really quickly with some paint, Oh, the paint I dug out, it would be one of my empty pots. I know, I know. I'll do it quick, she says. Not opening, even not opening the pot. So, if I just go on with a really, really quick layer of paint. Now, with that crackle glaze, I'd paint the surface because these are very, very porous. So, if you don't paint your surface, then, um, yeah, I don't think you really your crackle glaze is going to work the same because it, it it's just going to soak into that surface so give it a bit of a, a paint first so nice and speedy there um and then let that dry obviously i didn't plug me do you know what this morning has been a bit of a morning i didn't plug in my heat gun so honestly this morning <laughs> we have had a we have had a, a We've had a tr we've had a hectic morning. We really have. All of us have been running around like blue, blue things. <laughs> Don't use that expression, Leona. Um, so now this is your crackle medium. Look at that. This is fabulous. It's so thick, but it's got a beautiful. When you put it on, it. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you put it on, it's got a beautiful like pearlescent sheen to it. Um, Hopefully, uh, you'll be able to buy that later. At the minute, it, honestly, this morning, does that mean the bitumen's no stock? No, yeah, brilliant. I mean, just brilliant. So I'm putting that on. I'm not putting it on evenly. And I must have, oh, I must have, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must admit, I've made it right. No, I'm putting it on with my uh, my palette knife because I love getting the different texture. I'm obviously not completely coating it either, so it's <laughs> so it's got lots of different um, different texture on that. So not only will you get your crackle, but it's got your different texture on that. I like to let it dry. I mean, you, oh good grief! You can give it a bit of a blast with your heat gun, but I I recommend with crackle glaze. Letting it dry because sometimes when I give mine a blast with my heat gun, it bubbles it rather than lets it crackle. Um, you can speed it up a little bit, but I always let mine dry proper. So pop that to one side. And then what you're going to get is that fantastic crackle. Obviously, um, with this, what I absolutely love about it, it's clear, absolutely crystal clear. I really like that because it allows you to see whatever you've crackled. So if I had to put this over a colour, if I had to put this over the paper, then you'd be able to see the paper underneath it. And I really, really like that. But then what you can get is the bitumen, which obviously... Oh, I mean, this is quite annoying. Maybe I should show you. Oh, I've started now. But with this. Now, this is such a good product because, look, when you put this on, you're getting that wonderful... It really, really shows the crackles. I mean, it's absolutely fabulous. Let me just give it a quick stir because you can see all the detail. It makes everything pop. And then if I just go over, look at that. I mean, it ages it in no time at all. And I've put this on, so I've popped it on here, but I've also popped it on. And I might do this in second hour when hopefully we can, you can actually buy this it seems silly but obviously we have got the grey board so if you want to get hold of that but look i put it on one of these and as soon as you go in it's so cool as soon as you go in look at that change it looks so good because it's really really rich so it gives you that wonderful effect and the thing is with this it's like bitumen it can be quite um a yucky product to work with this isn't it's a lovely product to work with i'll be able to clean my everything just cleans off really really easy it gives you that instant i mean look at that that instant look i love that the crackle glaze just pops with that absolutely super as soon as we can um as soon as we can um offer you the the crackle and the bitumen we will let you know um when it's there it's 
It's very early. I mean, all we can do is apologise. Good morning. Email in. Have you had your breakfast? What did you have? What did you have for your breakfast? Uh, and what time did you get up? Have you been up hours or have you literally just got up like us lot? <laughs> um, okay, so next. What I wanted to do were with the um, the 12 by 12 papers. So, um, and I'm using the plumbing chocolate. Obviously, with your 12 by 12 papers, tons you can do with these. Because they're double-sided, it means that you want to start playing with them. Now, initially, I was just going to back these onto there, but I felt that that was a bit of a waste because these papers are that beautiful. But because they're nice, thick papers, I thought, listen, I can use these for my actual covers of the, the book, but then I'm going to use my papers for the pages inside because I just didn't want to waste all my gorgeous paper. And the thing is for that, I can use my 8x8 or I can use my 12x12. So within this um, book, you can create so many different layers and looks. So if you take one of your, your um, 8x8s, first of all, okay, and I'm going to, rather than cutting this down, I'm going to just fold it up like that. So it's just inside there. So it's not quite the same size. It's just inside the actual frame. There we go. So that's going to be... Isn't it funny? Yeah, I'm terrible at scoring with my nails. I've, I've always been a bit... I'm terrible. I don't really care, do I? And then just rounding those corners off. And I'm rounding it off with my scissors. If you have got a corner punch, then brilliant for rounding off with a corner punch. I'm just doing that because it's quick and easy. I'm going to trim it. So where I've put my little nick, that's where it's going to get a trim. Like so. There we are. And then trimming that down as well and you want to trim the corners off just because it matches then and if you just bring it up to the edge of your little book you can see where your corners are and then just work around and trim off like that I think like that one see so you've got that lovely little pocket now i wanted to to use this and not not just cut it in half but fold it because then this becomes a little pocket so out of that you have got already you've got your sheet doing something so it's not just looking pretty but it's actually um you know you can use it for other things as well so just pop a little bit of your your tape coming up here use double-sided tape you want a strong, if it's going to be a pocket, you're going to be using that. So you want it to be uh, stronger than just using a wet glue. Or at least this will give it a hold, but I might use a wet glue as well, just to be on the safe side. Needless to say, I went and left my hole punch. So I'll put this, <laughs> I'll put, I can put this together. It's one of the single hole punches I'm on. Yeah, because of the way it's spaced out. I am going to use, I'll go and get my crocodile latch after, and I am going to use it properly because you'd want these to all line up properly. You wouldn't want them to um, to line up wrong. So, oh, Pauline's emailed in. Good morning. Um, and what did Pauline just say? She were up at seven. She's normally up at six o'clock. So Pauline's had a bit of a lying. And what is she doing? She's off to the allotment. Oh. She's off to the allotment today to install some fence posts. Um, have a lovely day. I hope it's dry for you, installing your fence posts. That sounds quite fabulous, doesn't it? Have a good day at the lovely allotment. Oh, I, I do have a bit of allotment envy. I love allotments. Okay, so you've got our little pocket here. Um, now, I'm just going to go around with a little bit of ink, as ever, because you want to, even though this is distressed, it's got all that, you know, that rich colour tone to it. But it's always nice just to give it a little bit more distress just round the edges. Um, if you do want the MDF, I really, really like these. We've got so many different um, embellishments with the MDF. I mean, there is tons. I must admit, this is where I'd absolutely put a stencil on, but unfortunately, hopefully by 11 o'clock, we'll have our stencils as well. But unfortunately, um, we haven't got them either. It's been a bit, as I say, been a bit of a morning. So 
a bit of a time bit of a time for 7 a.m so it has so we've got that now these i started last night i started cutting all of these out. i got a bit carried away because i cut loads out i don't know how i thought i was going to do all of this but i got it because you do don't you get a bit excited um so all of these pockets now this is with that lovely little journal kit that you get so all these are little pockets and obviously this is all part of the big kit so it's all part this comes in the plumbing chocolate kit so it's all there for you so you just cut these out and then decide where they're going to go so that pocket can go on the front like this so that means on that page you've got two beautiful pockets and I love this I think that works really really well and do you know what I'm going to use on this rather than um, I'll use plum on that one so rather than using a brown because a brown that might just sort of sit into the background let's use a lovely plum well actually a dusty concord so round the edges sort of in it round the edges we've got a cheeky bit of dusty concord so popping that down there like that and it's where i've scored it and folded it and this is a um the lovely thing it's telling you exactly where to score exactly where to fold to make those lovely little pockets so you've got your beautiful little pocket there, dead easy to cut out. Then you've got tons of embellishments on these sheets as well. And then, again, I would normally use double-sided tape, but just for speed, let's get this down with your glue. Just popping a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue there, and a little bit of glue there. So just be careful, I'm not loading it with uh, glue because... Um, I don't want it to, to just stick to the paper and not be a pocket, but just be a bit of card that's stuck to the front. That wouldn't be an effective pocket. So just get that to grab like that. It's a quick grab, so it should be fine. Perfect. See, doesn't that look pretty? Have I got it straight? Have I yet? No. So that's it. I'm glad it just gave me a tiny bit of movability. See, doesn't that look pretty already? I love things like this because they come together so quickly and so easily. But then you've got all your different embellishments. So with this one, what I wanted to use, I'm going, I want to embellish my pages as well just because I think they're absolutely beautiful and because they give you so many different looks. So if I take, now, but I will take, because we haven't got the doodah what's it, in yet let me get one of my uh, lovely little clocks so remember you are getting with your clock kit you get your clocks and your cogs now i have painted these i did spend a little bit of time painting these just because um again if you're putting stuff over the top of these it's nice if they've got a bit of paint on because they are very very porous indeed so pop a bit of paint and it just gives it extra dimension if you're making a book the lovely thing is with these, because these are really big rings, if you're just using these for the, the actual book, it means you can really embellish your pages. And that's fabulous because it will give you loads and loads of uh, scope, um, you know, to, to actually play with these. I would love to have put a stencil on there. I'm just seeing if I've got any stencils at all. But sadly, we haven't, yeah, because we didn't get the, the stencils, sadly, I can't put any stenciling on there, which is a bit of a shame because I'd love to. What I might do, what I might do, no. No, I actually want to use them rather than just look at pictures. <laughs> Oh well, no stencils. So what I will do is just put a bit of dusty con concord on instead. So, <laughs> um, beggars can't be choosers. So i just pop a little bit on. Who's emailed him? Good morning, Carol. She's been up for hours as Carol. Um, oh. No. So she wasn't concentrating this morning. So she's accidentally where she locked herself out of. Her Achandra account. Oh no, so she can't get the papers. I mean, I mean, is that is that accidental or were your brain going, no, stop? <laughs> is that what were happening there? Um, oh no, at least she's had coffee and chocolate biscuits for breakfast. Strong, strong. Uh, what did I have? I've had two croissants this morning. Two croissants. Get me. I know, right? I know. 
they were lovely. <laughs> <laughs> they're absolutely lovely. Did you buy a Volvo this morning? And yesterday. So, so, our mall has bought a brand new Volvo. Is it a new one? No. Our mall's bought a little Volvo. Lovely. Now, now, what have you named it? Vinny. Vinny the Volvo. I like that. That's fabulous. Uh, little Vinny. That's good. Let's see. It's the first big girl car. <laughs> look, look how that all comes together. I'm going to get some flowers. Now, because I haven't got any stencils, let's put some flowers on it. Okay, so let's get this all built up. So I'm going to pop on, first of all, um, I'll pop some flowers underneath. So I'm going to put, I've got little uh, leaves in my box of goodies. I've got all sorts in here. And this matches perfectly. Because you've got all your beautiful florals in the background, you can get really carried away with this. So if I start popping on these. Now I am going to use my, um, mm, what have I got? Now that's crafty, do of course do loads of their own gel mediums and stuff like that. Of course I haven't got theirs so I do apologize for that. Do check the website out because I know they've got them on the website. Um, and there are some on the show but obviously they didn't get picked for us either. So I'm just going to start building this up. So I want it on the side there. So if I pop that on the side and then I can start popping these on like so. So this is going on the side. Now I have to be, it, bear in mind I am going to be punching the hole there for the actual um, for the actual book to sit. So I do need to, to sort of think about that. But that's okay. So that's going to go there. This is going over the top like so. So this I can pop on. Like this. So that goes on like this. Now I'm going to bring that leaf. Oh, actually that leaf can stay there. So that's going to be there like so. And then... Let's pop the little clock on, right there, and 12 because at the top, done it? I couldn't remember then how a clock works. We've only got 15 minutes? Oh my gosh, haven't, I've not really done anything. I cut out so many of these because I, I literally thought, oh, I'll be able to do loads of these pages. I cut out tons. Look, how pretty is this? And I do adore the paper pads. They're such good quality. And look how pretty that is. And that's just like one flower on it, essentially. I'd, I'd obviously get really carried away because I've got all sorts of gems and things that work as well. I mean, these work absolutely beautifully with this. Look at that. They really go. Oh, I can feel I'm getting carried away. So but doesn't that look pretty? And that is just so simple. That is literally just layering one of those little pockets. That's one of the other little pockets. Oh, look. So that's a pocket. That's a pocket. Now imagine when I put it in my little book. I'll finish the, the actual front of the book off, but I want to do another pocket on there. Before I do that, though, shall we give you a reminder of the pages? Imagine when that's finished. That would look absolutely beautiful. Um, OK, so we have got for you... Um, the beautiful birds. Now, these are the board journals that I'm using. These are fantastic. Please, please, please check your baskets out with these because you've got that many elements. Um, you've got that many elements um, in each one of these. You can create so many little books. Really, really like those. They're so well cool. Um, and only eleven ninety nine. Such good value for money for everything in this show. Now, we've also got the beautiful MDF tags. Um, so, with your lovely MDF tags, um, and again, these are really nice and thick. I love all the extra cogs and stuff. Everything works together wonderfully. And, of course, um, loads of different ways you can use that because it's really thick. £9.99 is your price. 813-849 is your item number. We've also got for you 
your lovely crafty surfaces and these are the ones you know when i were whipping through and i saw it she saw blah 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 saw some of your lovely finished samples that was out of these so if you do want those lovely i don't know how to describe them but anyway they're well cool <laughs> uh, so get hold of them there's so many different elements if you can i will get um quite a few of these different um different little di uh, die cut sheets because they are really really versatile beautifully cut as well um, and only 13 pounds and 49 pence you get four sheets in those so it's really you know you get tons really good value for money and then the gorgeous waxes um, I'm going to use the waxes probably, well, I will see when we get back. Now, you have got with that one, that is gorgeous. That's your black pearl, but it really looks like a golden loveliness. Um, that's a gorgeous red. We've also got for you the beautiful ruby, ruby, ruby. Um, we've then got um, the, the emerald, the beautiful sapphire. And then the amethyst. They are gorgeous. £10.49 for £3 of those absolutely stunning 086255 i can show you waxes as well well i can show you the pink look at that one i mean these are just lush so you've got that beautiful beautiful pink i mean look at the texture on that that is going nowhere that's that pink one and then i have got bear with i have also got have a look at this one look at that that's the, the one that they're calling the black pearl, but it's got, it's more of a silvery, beautiful shimmer. Now, they're really nice of those. I'll show you them when we get back to demo. Okay, your paper pads. Uh, these have been really, really busy. If you want anything, check your baskets out. First of all, uh, you've got, oh, and I forgot about this, your beautiful, beautiful chipboard. I mean, this is weighty. It's really, really cool because you're getting so much on one of those sheets. And because it's already got a kind of sheen to it, it looks sensational. Now, you've got that. You've then got all your wonderful papers. So with your papers, you've got your 12 by 12s. Now, the colour palette is wonderful. The print is such nice quality. The weight of the paper is good quality. And you're getting so many beautiful elements in here. Uh, remember, you are getting your 12 by 12. You've also got your 8 by 8. And then you've got the 6 by 6. So you are getting a lot of paper for your money. And when you look at it, when you look at all the different bits that you can fussy cut out, you know, when you look at the, the colour palette, it is amazing. 42 sheets have we got all together in each collection. And then, of course, you have got the little book, which I were working with, with all the pockets. They, they come together beautifully. I am so pleased with that page. And literally all I did was fold a piece of paper in half, put a pocket on it, and then put a pocket on the front. But it looks, it's all about everything mixing and matching. I did start cutting some of these out, but I haven't managed to, to do that. But they are wonderful. Now, you're getting your 12 by 12 in the same... Um, in the same colour palette, you're also getting your um, your eight by eight, and of course, I won't. Oh, that might that's mine. <laughs> Obviously, I won't flip through all of them because you've seen them. But just to show you, all double sided, just beautiful, and then the six by six. I love the fact that you're getting all of these. It just means you don't mind cutting into it. You don't mind starting chopping it up, which is fabulous. And then this is where, so the lovely sort of art journaling pack, this is where I got my pockets from. And this, I really got carried away last night. I were essentially cutting all of these out and then made myself stop because I thought, what am I doing? I'm not actually able to do anything. But then obviously I started um, painting everything then, that were another two hours gone in my life um but they're beautiful and you've got so many embellishments they're absolutely exquisite so much you can do with these and i have so many of them cut out so i'm going to be using those if i get to demo again you're just going to see me do it again um and there's loads you can do use the embellishments on cards use them for um for you know your mixed media projects there's loads you can do or do your fancy folds which of you see i didn't manage to fold back again <laughs> but i will do before it gets there back but isn't that that is such a cool card 
Oh, I'm not even going to try just yet. Uh, 444317 is your item number. It is your beautiful plumbing chocolate. Please do not miss out on these. The prices are phenomenal. £29 and £45. Brand new today. Now, the second one. Lovely. Lovely when you smile. Oh, you're lovely when you smile. Terrible when you frown, but lovely when you smile. So you've got all the gorgeous chipboard elements. Again, you've got tons on there. And I do like that you have got the, the word art sort of hidden in between as well. And all these are die cut out, ready to go. So you've got your chipboard embellishments. You've then got your papers. And I just, I think this is a lovely one, this. It's definitely one of my faves. I think it... I, now, I don't know. I think the other one's my favourite favourite now, but this has come to be second favourite favourite. I know. I looked at the flowers. I like this because I like the ladies in it. I think they're quite fabulous. And I love the, the sheet with all the lovely little elements on. And the florals in here, I just think are beautiful. And I like that sort of blue tone to this one. I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. I really like that. And there's loads of flowers you can fussy cut out. And that, that is just such an interesting frame. You know, to use that on an art journal page would look absolutely amazing. Really, really cool. And look at all those. See now that, I just adore that. They're so pretty. Really, really pretty. So you're getting, again, your 8 by 8 you're getting your 6x6. Six six. You're also getting, of course, a 12x12. 12 12. I won't show you them all just because of the time. Um, but then you are getting the lovely journal pages. And, yeah, these are fun. They're good because they are inspirational. They will give you ideas. They give you loads and loads of embellishments to cut out. So, obviously, tons you can do with that. But then they're giving you those wonderful double-sided pockets. And I like that a lot because it just gives you ideas of what you can do with this paper. And it's dead easy then to build up uh, your little books. You know, and you don't have to, like with this one, these are the pockets. So you can use them in any size. You don't need to use them in the big one, like that one. Look at that. That is one of the tabs on here, which I just, I just think they're adorable. And there's so many ways you're going to be using this. Absolutely exquisite. Um, and just that. I mean, that is so simple but ridiculously effective. That is one piece of paper mat and laid on there. But doesn't that look beautiful? Imagine, imagine how many cards you could get out of this if all you're doing is just um, popping bits out and mat and layering. Honestly, you could get so many cards out of this. 444-317 is your item number. Now, last but by no means least, this has absolutely been the most popular. It's been flying out the door, and I'm not surprised. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the colour palette, it's just... It's just got such a sophistication to it, but it is very romantic. Um, that beautiful pink rose is just really pretty. The layers, I love the, um, the text background as well. I love that. Isn't that cute? So we've got um, Le Comte Morview. <laughs> yeah? I don't know what that means. I love this because it could literally be saying anything, couldn't it? You know, it could literally be saying anything. I might have just sworn and I wouldn't have had a clue. And that, see, if I were producing something like this, I'd probably sneak in something like that just for the giggles. Because um, that would really make me snigger. Um, I love it. I love the musical notes on the background. It's got that vintage look to this, but it's a bit lighter is this one. <laughs> Only five minutes. And look at that. I mean, cutting out all of those, absolutely sensational. Yeah, I love this one. That is very pretty. Second ever, I will definitely do something with this one. Um, beautiful. You get your 12 by 12. You're getting the chipboard. You're getting your beautiful eight, uh, 6 by 6 and your 8 by 8 And you're getting the wonderful journal pages. So much you can do with this. And it just looks gorgeous. Uh, £29, £45, that's your price. That is four four. 4317 your item number now check the website out hey the website you're gonna see everything there's so many different elements there so please have a little look see um 
Don't forget to check the mediums out. Now, the beautiful, beautiful, um, oh, where have I put mine? The, the patinas are gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And obviously with these, there's loads you can do with them. Uh, do not miss out on any of those. Um, um, that's crafted, produced so many wonderful elements um, and so many wonderful ideas as well. Don't miss out. Now, I'm going to take one of my 12 by 12 pages. I'm going to now... I'm just going to bring that on. So this time I want my, my sort of extended page to come out that side. So I'm just going to chop it down there. Right, so I know I haven't got tons of time, so I won't faff for too long. But it's to show you. So if this is your book that, that I'm making up, if it's one of your, your lovely little art journals, you can create so many different looks with your pages. And I love that because it allows you to, to really play. So if I pop that there now, I've cut that a bit long and I am actually going to be faffy because I don't want the page coming over my actual, um, the cover of the book. Because that would be, that'd be crazy. So I'll just chop that down like so. And then round off those corners again. I'll do that later because that's a boring bit. So what I want to do with this one, I want my fold. So that's where my, my book sort of finishes. Oh, I've cut up my postcard one. You should really check what you're cutting up before you go and cut it up. I was trying not to do that, though, because I've become really faffy. And I thought, rather than be faffy, let's just go for it. So with this one, 12 by 12 papers are great because now, look, I can bring this down like there. So that gives me a corner pocket. So rather than now, I've got a little corner pocket there. So on that side, all I do is glue, glue, leave that open so you've got the corner pocket. And I kind of like this loose because I quite like that dimension. So on that side, I create my corner pocket. On this side, I bring one of my other pockets. So because I've got a corner pocket on that side, look, I've even... Mind you, you see, that is going to be there on the spine of your book. So you're not going to be seeing that. Yeah, we can live with that. We can live with, can't we? It just gives me even more room for my pocket. So now, look, that pocket is going to be coming on there. Or have a look, a look, see, you've got all these different pockets. I love these, the mini envelopes. And these are really cute with the tabs. They're so sweet. I mean, you could make a full book with the tabs. Now, when you look at that, it that sits into the background too much. And I don't like that. I want it to pop more. So if that's the, the case, just get a little bit of gesso. And remember, these are nice heavyweight papers, so you can do all sorts with these. It might be gesso you're putting on. It might be... Um, it might be paints, it might be some of the uh, the wonderful uh, patinas that you're putting on. So just get that there and a bit of dry brushing there. And I've only got a minute, so I'm going to have to be really quick with this. So I'm not going to dry brush quite as much as I wanted, am I? But if you dry brush your... your um, just on to here what this will do it'll knock back your paper a little bit now this is lovely heavyweight papers so it'll let you get away with doing stuff like this and then as you build that up and you will need to build it up oh i've only 30 seconds but can you see as you build it up straight away you can already see that it'll start to pop a little bit and it's a way of still seeing your papers but obviously being able to um, to put your gorgeous layers on top. Oh, we're nearly out of time, folks. Right, we're back up at 11 o'clock. Um, please check your baskets out. Those papers are stunning, as are all the other wonderful things from That's Craft It. I'll see you in a minute. Coming up, uh, we have got Matthew Palmer. Um, it's the one day special. Then got Oak, Awkward Ultra, uh, Wings and Things, and then my, oh, Material Magic, sorry. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Your Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them.
designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda Shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda.